electricity. We know that certain substances conduct electricity. Now in this tester we have a battery which is connected to a magnetic needle and the, there are two wires in the circuit which are left open from their ends. Now if we have to test a substance whether it conducts electricity or not we can place it between the two ends of the wire. If the magnetic needle shows deflection that means that substance conducts electricity. But right now we have placed nothing between the two ends of the wire. But there is something between the ends of the wire which is not seen but it is still present and that is air. That means air is present between the ends of the wire so we can test whether air conducts electricity or not. Check the magnetic needle. Does it show any deflection? No. That means I can say electricity cannot pass through air. So air is a poor conductor. Did you notice one thing? That I said air is a poor conductor. But I never mentioned that air is a bad conductor or it is an insulator. Why is that so? Because air conducts electricity during lightning. So I can say one thing that air does not conduct electricity under normal conditions. But it can conduct electricity under specific circumstances. So this is the reason why we classify all the substances into good conductors and poor conductors but we do not classify them as conductors and insulators. Okay, now let us take distilled water. What do you mean by distilled water? Water which has no impurities inside or no, no other substances are mixed in water. So this is pure H2O, pure water. Now let us test whether distilled water conducts electricity or not. So for that we put the wires of our tester inside water. Do you see any deflection in the needle? No. That means I can say distilled water does not conduct electricity. Now let's do one thing. Let's remove the tester and let's put some salt in the water. Now again let's test this salt solution with the tester. Do you see the deflection in the needle now? Yes. That means I can say that salt solution does conduct electricity. So we can say that distilled water does not conduct electricity but it will conduct electricity if some salts or other minerals are mixed in it. That is the reason why water from taps, hand pumps, wells, ponds, sea, they all conduct electricity because there are certain minerals or salts always dissolved in them. Mineral water is very good for health but such water conducts electricity. So we have to be very careful while touching the electrical appliances with wet hands or while standing on wet flow. We've seen that when we dissolve salt in distilled water it conducts electricity. So salt solutions do conduct electricity. In a similar manner let's dissolve different things in distilled water and let's see if their solution conduct electricity or not. So here we have three beakers of distilled water. In the first beaker we add dilute hydrochloric acid. In the second beaker we add caustic soda which is a base. And in the third beaker we add sugar. Now let's test all the three solutions with the help of a tester. Now in the first case when we immerse the wire of the tester, do we see the deflection in the needle? Yes, that means I can say hydrochloric acid solution does conduct electricity. Now let's go to the second one. In the second case we have caustic soda solution. Here do you see the deflection in the needle? Yes, that means even caustic soda solution conducts electricity. In the third case where we have sugar, does the needle deflect? No. That means I can say sugar solution does not conduct electricity. So after doing so many activities, we can conclude one thing. That solutions of salt, acids and bases do conduct electricity 